heavyweight showdown between the Korean Superboy, Duo Choi, and Benil Daryush. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep or a head pop, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the U.S. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arm. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, he, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence, not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Daryush is two years his senior. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. And now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is one round in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a jiu-jitsu fighter holding a professional record of 20 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, Fighting out of Yorba Linda, California, USA, Benil Daryush. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 14 wins, 4 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. All right, Herb Dean, third man in the octagon for this one. Ready. Ready fight. All right, so here we go. The weight and the height gives way the action right here on one side. Maybe the division's most well-rounded fighter taking on arguably the biggest submission threat in this division. Because he's such a great submission grappler, I believe that this is the most dangerous fight for him in the division. Wow. He needs to maintain his space, stay away from this guy at all costs, and force him to stand up. And he connects with a punch there. Whoa! goes for the clinch here. Looks like he's trying to recover. He was stunned a little bit earlier. Let's see if he can get a respite here. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. Oh, so he'll change his stance. He's got him right here. his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off of his back. 
Our rubber guard now, DC, some submissions at his disposal if he so chooses. Yeah, he does have a couple submissions. They're very rare submissions. Go, go, Plata, Omo Plata. But if the guy has any understanding of submission defense, he knows how to stay safe in this position. So there are advantages to being here, but the danger isn't so vast that you should panic. Yeah, we've only seen a handful of Omo Platas in UFC history. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. Attack an arm bar. Why is he not recognizing this right now? He's got to recognize this is dangerous. This is a dangerous position. Nicely done. Lands with the right hand. Choi's looking to pass from full guard into half guard here, but he's denied. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Daryush. Oh, that's a good right hand. Close guard here. He's very comfortable here working off of his back, DC. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level. Attempting a choke now. Oh, wow, oh! Oh, we're getting a finish here. Getting tighter. from the bottom. Nice work there by Doryush. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He's not pity patting. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. On his back now, he's going for the rear naked choke. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. He takes his opponent to his side to try to get the finish. Looks like his opponent's trying to turn into the choke here, but there's a lot of pressure. He's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Oh, tags him again with a flush left hand. All right, side control now. Choi's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Daryush. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strike. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. You got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture. And the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. Battling for hooks. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And they separate. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. 
right hand punch to the clinch. Staying busy here in the clinch. Now goes to the knee to the body. And there comes the separation now. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Another shot lands upstairs. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, and he always brings his hands right back to his face. Oh, nice jab. Whoa! Holy is pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from Bob. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. About the speed on that reversal there. I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Doryush. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Big. Whoa! Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has called a stop to this contest. Playing the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout.